Brethren, what I ask you is this. Do any of you, can any of you say, 23rd day of September, 2018, I determined before the Lord to stop doing that and start doing this. Do you have that kind of day, those kind of seasons in your life? And I mean specific day, even right down to perhaps the hour. Do you have dates like that? When you heard God's word, you considered your ways God's word preached, you came across it when, in, when you're doing your devotions anyways, it struck home. And you said, that's it. No more. No more. I'm not doing that anymore. I mean, sometimes it's a way you talk to your wife, or sometimes you do this or you do that, and you say, no more. Or, or you've, you've let family devotions get away. Your kids are little and they're growing up and you're not opening up the word of God. You say, that's it. No more. Or you say, the church gathers together on Wednesday nights to pray, and I make it like one or two times out of every, but that's it, no more. This has to be a priority in my life. i got to get my priorities right. And, or, you know, you can fill in the, the church is going downtown, and they're taking the gospel out on the streets, or they're doing this, and I recognize. And even though that may not be the thing for you to do, it's not like any, brethren, the thing is, none of us should make one another guilty for not doing exactly the same thing we do. We've all got different gifts. But the fact is, it might have been bugging you. You might have felt this little tinge on your conscience that you needed to reach out to your uncle, or you needed to take the gospel up and down your street, or you needed to talk to that guy at work, and you've just avoided it. Not convenient time to do that. Or you say, just enough. Or maybe it's a guy that you just, you recognize you've gotten sloppy with your eyes. You're looking at women when you ought not to be in a way you ought not to be. And you just get to a place, enough. Christ said to gouge out the eye and I'm going to do it. Enough of that. You draw the line in the sand. Whatever it is, you say, you know, I've been loose with my, with my mouth. I've maybe gossiped too much. I talk about other people too much. I use my voice. I use my tongue to, to rail on and tear down my husband. Enough. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm not doing it. And you don't do it in your own strength, but you look to the Lord and you say, Lord, give me, give me the ability. And, and then that's it. That's it. I'm talking about days in your life when you just suddenly, suddenly the truth of God just breaks in upon your heart, upon your mind, upon your soul, and you determine to get your priorities straight. And I'm not talking lip service where you just say something and two weeks later, it's not that way. Like the vast majority of the world make New Year's resolutions and by the you know, 28th day of January, the thing is all gone. I'm talking, you actually do what these folks did. And these, these folks went to building on that temple for four years. This wasn't just, you know, some fly-by-night thing where they kind of got their act together for a month or six weeks. This is the kind of thing where you determine, I'm going to get my act together. I'm a Christian. I walk in the power of the cross. I can do this. I'm talking about that, where you're not like these, you, you, you were making excuses before, just like these people, but you say, enough, enough. When, folks, people that are going to really be victorious in this life are people that talk like this and act like this and think like this. And, and all of us should be having these kind of days where we, there's breakthroughs, where we talk to ourselves. Oh, I love that about Lloyd-Jones. He always talked, you know, in spiritual depression. He said, one of the big things we have to do is talk to ourselves. And that's one of the things you need to do. Talk to yourself. You need to have times when you say, hey, self, you know what? You actually... You actually have not been lining up with what Christ said in his word. You know what Christ said? Christ said, when you have a meal, don't invite your family and friends. You ought to invite people that are blind, that are lame, that are crippled, that are this or that. I would ask you this. Have you ever done that? Christ said you ought to sell your possessions and give to the poor. Have you ever done that? I mean, there comes a place where you draw the line in the sand. And you say, I'm going to start doing that. And the, the truth is that, you know, there's... There, you start to look at Christ, and he's, you know, his, his, his example, his teachings, he calls us to live a certain way. I mean, you have to say to yourself, what is, how does Jesus tell me to live? You know what, self? If you really lived all out like Jesus told you to live, then you'd probably be doing a lot more of that thing and a whole lot less of that thing. And you got to talk to yourself like there's got to be, I mean, there's got to be honesty with yourself. You got to come to that position where you just say enough, enough. And that's what they did. It's like they heard the word of God and they realized, hey, you know what? God wants me to do this. And let me tell you, if Jesus is speaking to you out of scripture, telling you that there's a way he wants Christians to live, well, that ought to be just as fresh to you as if Haggai spoke to these people back in that day. It ought to ring just as loud in your ear. 
where you just say, I'm going to put God and his work first. I'm going to seek first the kingdom of God because I haven't been seeking first the kingdom. I've been seeking my business or I've been seeking that or this or the other thing. My family, my holiday, my this, my that, 